Hello everybody, it's Wendy um, from A Beat on a Wire Jewelry and today I have a very, very, very small little um, bead box bargains haul. These are actually just um, a couple things that I ordered extra because they had a new color in and bicones and you all know that I seem to be addicted to bicones. <laughs> I can't seem to get enough bicones and they have great prices on their bicones. So anyway, when I saw that they had this new color in, I kind of was like, oh my gosh, I've got to order. So anyway, I did. And I just wanted to share the colors with you because they really have some pretty stuff. Um, so this came yesterday in the mail and again, they gave me a free package of <laughs> spacer beads gold spacer beads and I'm kind of amazed I mean I'll, this order was only nine dollars and 68 cents and they still gave me it said your order qualifies for a free package it's a hundred gold spacer beads three millimeter so I'm definitely not complaining that's very nice I just it was surprised that an under ten dollar order even qualified for that so um and then I ordered another strand of the light Colorado topaz and these bicones I love these. I mean, their bicones are so pretty, and um, they're just great quality, and I use a ton of bicones. So anyway, I went ahead and got another strand of those, and then um, this Capri Blue. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful these are. I just love this color. I got two strands of these, um, and I really may order more because they're so pretty. But these are all 99 cents for 100 bicones, and that's just incredible. But the reason that I ordered was they had these new um, silver shadow colored ones. And I'm always looking for silver. I can never seem to get enough silver. I do tons of stuff with silver. So I went ahead and ordered, I think, three strands of these. Yeah, three strands of these. Like I said, they're a dollar a strand. So you get 100 bicones for a dollar. So this right here is 300 bicones for three dollars. And you just, you can't beat that. Um, so I went ahead and ordered those. That was my main reason for even placing the order. And then I ordered a few more of these little, I showed you these little flower drops before. And I think these are so cute. I haven't even used them on anything yet. But I just wanted to grab another package of them. And then they sent me these little, these four little spacer beads for free look at them they're cute little gold almost look like little candies wrapped up or something but they sent those for free so anyway I just wanted to share that with you um, because it's always nice I think to see the products you can see them online but they look you know they look different when you get them sometimes and that whole order was nine dollars and sixty eight cents including shipping <laughs> And then I did a little bit of some finish, or I did some jewelry, so I was going to show you guys a little bit of a finished jewelry update here. Um, the last bargain bead box had this beautiful pendant right here, this Tree of Life pendant, and I made a necklace out of it. Let's see if I can get it all even on the screen here in the frame. Um, I made a necklace out of it. Let me move back a little. I know they included a lot of really beautiful crystal beads in this rose gold, but I thought this pendant was so pretty on its own that I wanted to make something just really simple that wouldn't um, have a lot of beads and detract from the pendant itself. So, um, and I didn't want to use just rose gold with it. I wanted to use something else. So I went with some copper chain and the rose gold chain too and I put some little links up here you can see these little links and then I used um, just the rose gold toggle and I always put these little I like to put these little dangles on my necklaces I think they're cute so it's just um, it's kind of boho it's long I wanted the chain to hang like it does here but um, see if I can get the whole thing on camera. I'm not doing a very good job with my camera this morning, but here it is. It's just kind of boho and long, and I wanted it just to be simple. I didn't want a lot going on with that pendant, so I made that. Let me set the camera back down. Sorry for the movement. I just really wanted to get that whole thing on there if I could, and I'm, I had trouble getting this thing adjusted this morning. I don't know if I'm tired or what's going on. But then I made these little earrings to go along with it. 
and again I just used the chain I just wanted something simple I, I didn't really I thought that tree of life was so pretty in its own you know so did some little earrings to match and I think they turned out really cute I don't know um gosh I don't even know if I want to sell this set it's so pretty um but yeah I, I thought that turned out really good I was up at um 2 30 this morning making these things <laughs> couldn't sleep so <laughs> we live on a main road and it is so so loud here I've never lived in such a loud place we're actually um taking a bunch of our stuff down to North Carolina next weekend and I cannot wait till we make the final move I mean I don't really want to leave my family and stuff here but um yet I haven't slept since April I don't feel like so I will be so glad to move um so then I made these I just was kind of in the boho style mood last night and I had these check glass um, disc beads and I just created a little um, dangly earring I like the chain I'm kind of like I said getting into the boho look I used a fire polish bead here this little this is actually a poinsettia drop um, but I don't think it really looks like a poinsettia and then some just other little there's a fire polish bead on the end there three millimeter so I thought those turned out really cute. They are really long and dangly, and they flow. You know, they have like a, a lot of just flow to them. So I like them really well. I thought they turned out pretty. So that was probably at 3 o'clock this morning that I was making those. And then um, I made another pair of the boho style long danglies. I just uh, took, I think this is a check glass piece that came... Maybe I had ordered some things. Oh, when Potomac Beads did there, they do these um, little bags where they'll put a whole bag of coordinating beads together and you can order it. And I think maybe I got those in there. But um, these here are from the dollar bead box or bargain bead box. The feathers are. The chain probably is too. Most everything I order is from there. I put these on a post hole just or post uh, earring just because they're so long and dangly. I thought, you know, somebody may want <clears throat> something not quite as long as the last ones, though these are still pretty long. But I thought they turned out cute. Um, I like the boho style. I'm kind of getting into that lately. But yeah, so made these little earrings. And um, I did this the other day. This is a wrap bracelet with Super Duos. And it just wraps around. And I used just a piece of filigree for the clasp here. Um, and a peyote loop with Super Duos. Or Super Duos. Delicas. Goodness gracious. I guess I do need to go back to bed. <laughs> um, but these are Super Duo beads with little three... Or 15, uh, 15 o seed beads along the edge is the de decoration. And then there's the peyote loop with the delicas. And it wraps around the wrist. And I cannot possibly get it buttoned by myself. And then it this is actually the clasp is like a focal piece. And you wear it up here. But it turned out really cute, I thought. It was time-consuming and took a lot of beads, but I did think it turned out cute. Um, and then I have a couple things laying over here that I really need to get on cards. And that I wanted to show you all this Tree of Life. I think I've showed this before, actually, but I don't know what kind of beads these are. They are petal-shaped, and I thought this Tree of Life turned out so cute. Um, but I love these petal-shaped beads because they really look like leaves on there. But... Um, that's another thing that I've done here recently. And I don't really have much else here in front of me. I took everything that I had down to a store that sells my stuff in Huntington, West Virginia. So we made these little spiral galaxy earrings the other day on the tutorial. So I've got those here that I need to get on a card. But anyway, I just wanted to give a little update and show these bicones. Like I said, I think their colors are so beautiful. Um... And I seem to have a bicone addiction lately. I'm not sure. I guess I use a lot of them. It's not like I don't use them. I just love them. I don't know. I love them. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I'd also had a couple people request for me to show um, my storage system that's going on right now. And 
I've done this before and it's like, it causes, I, just, I hate to do it because um, it's not going to be this way forever and it looks really bad, but <laughs> I will show you all what I do. Um, this is my beading area and I buy all of these containers. These are acrylic from the Dollar Tree. Um, they have three compartments, they're clear. And these are all from the Dollar Tree. They are little, whoops, sorry for moving around, but these are just little, they're in their kids' craft section, but they're perfect for storing beads. And they have these little things at the top, which keep the beads from moving around. Like if this gets turned upside down, I mean, I try not to turn it upside down, but you know, if it would. Um, and then these other containers are what I put all of my bicones and fire polish small things and these all go in here and these are in the hardware section and they again have these little um, thing ridges on the top that keep the beads from really I mean now these if you turn it upside down probably will because the beads are so tiny but um, I put all of my crystal stuff and drops or not drops crystal stuff and tiny fire polish like the two millimeter and three millimeters they all go in these um, all of my other, like, um, findings, two-hole beads, bugle beads, super duos, drops, anything kind of special goes in these. These all have just, like, chain, head pins, clasps. Up here we have silver metal beads, silver and multi-metal beads. Over the, here we have gemstones. Um, WVU and Marshall are two colleges in my town that I do a lot, so I keep the beads separate bales and then here filigree pendants buttons up here i have um a bunch of the clear acrylic containers with like lampwork glass beads in them or beads that just don't really um, go with other beads like i don't have a whole bunch of them and then my 60 seed beads that are too big to fit in other containers because i use different containers for seed beads so um that is all of those containers are from the dollar tree and um, they're great for storing your beads. I mean, I love them. I use them all the time. And then over here, now this is really messy looking, don't judge me, but over here is where I keep all of my other beads and seed beads. So like this one's labeled gold. So when you open this up, there they are, all the gold, everything <laughs> that I have, pearls, um, just anything gold would be in here. And again, these containers, they come from the Dollar Tree. They come in a package of like 12, and I store them in there upside down so I can see what I have. And it works out great for me. Here's purple. You know, just, it's not a complex system, but it does work for me. I have all of my seed beads in here like this. These are all 6s and 15s. Then down below that is 11 O's. I still have this labeled turquoise because I actually just changed this the other day. And these are all eights. And like I said, these are perfect containers for these things. All of them come from the dollar store. Now these stack or these drawer things came from Michael's and they're $30. It's an everyday value. They never go on sale. Um, so I did spend $60 and get these and they have been invaluable. I mean, I love them. So um, that's my storage system. And like I said, when I move, it will be totally different. It will not look like this. Um, you know, I'm going to have it to where it's not like all out and jumbled up. But right now, this is the best that, you know, I can do. And it works great for me. Um, everything's kind of at fingertip reach. And, um, you know, it's all labeled. And that's my OCD. I just, you know. <laughs> I'm that way so but anyway um that is today's video I wanted to show you the few things from beadbox bargains that I did get and some of the finished jewelry um I am on Facebook at a bead on a wire um I have a Facebook page I am on Instagram at bead on a wire not a there's no a on the front of that just bead on a wire if you want to look me up on facebook and you can't find my page it's wendy cremines whitman w-h-i-t-m-a-n and um i post all of these thing items for sale on there they are for sale um 
If you're interested in buying them, like I said, you can look me up on Facebook or Instagram. Just message me or comment on the item, and I, I um, invoice through PayPal. So it's very easy, um, and I try to ship things out the day of or the day after that you purchase. So if you're interested in that, look me up, and um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and I hope to have um, some more tutorials coming up here soon. I might do a tutorial on these little boho dangles because I'm loving them. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, but anyway, it's Saturday morning here. It is very snowy outside and cold. So I'm probably just going to sit here and make some more jewelry that I can show you on another video. But y'all have a great weekend and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!